Hey y'all, so when I made the decision to go to boot camp, a lot of people asked me why I decided to go that route instead of continuing on the self-taught track that I was on. I'm gonna get into all of that later on in this video, but I thought this would be a good chance to answer that question and to get deeper into a question that a lot of people ask, and that is what really is the difference or similarity of self-taught learning and bootcamp learning? And is one better than the other? Let's get into it. What's up guys, it's your girl Nicole Dot Young. So let's get right into this video. I could probably talk forever about self-taught learning and what makes self-taught learning what it is and bootcamp learning and what makes that what it is. But overall, I found that there are four main areas that are worth actually talking about and comparing when looking at both of them. Uh, I think these are the areas where they vary the most and where they are the most different. So I think that bringing light to those areas and showing you guys what I have found for each is going to help you if you are trying to make the decision of going self-taught or bootcamp route. Okay, so starting with number one, and that is time. Now, with bootcamp, and I would say this is probably true of most bootcamps, it was way faster than literally anything that I had ever done for myself when I was self-taught learning. We went faster through material than I would have ever thought to do if I was setting up a curriculum for myself. When I was learning on my own, I would spend whole weeks um, and sometimes even longer than that on single concepts and in boot camp, we might have spent one day, maybe half of the day on a concept. So we were definitely going so much faster. And not only that, uh, the amount of time I spent each day with learning was way different as well. So when I was self-taught learning, I had blocked off maybe three to four hours a day to work on any particular thing, um, whatever I was learning, whatever I was trying to build during that time, I would only work on it like in my most productive hours, which was usually three to four hours in the morning. And this was like definitely like deep in uh, during the pandemic and when I had just quit my job. So I had that time, but for the most part, I wasn't spending more than like four, maybe five hours a day. With boot camp, it was quite literally the only thing that I did most of the day. Um, I would, in the mornings, get up, get ready, do some review before things started. Um, so I would, you know, review what we did the day before, just to make sure I was caught up, make sure if I had any questions, I had them prepared to ask. Then we would start at 9.30 for morning review. We would go <laughs> and be learning from 10 to 6 p.m. with just an hour and a half for lunch in between. And some days during lunchtime, I had to complete homework or had like um, what we called learning team lunches where we were talking about code there too. So it was like full day, eight to nine hours a day of thinking about code. And then after, in my own time, I was also having to complete homeworks and workshops and that kind of stuff. So most of my day was structured around how I was going to learn the things I was learning in bootcamp. Whereas when I was in self-taught mode, I was not going that hard for myself. Next and pretty related to that is intensity. You can imagine if I was spending that much time in bootcamp, the intensity of bootcamp was so much greater and it definitely was. Like I said, we were learning sometimes one or more technologies every single day, at least for the first six weeks. And then after that, we were kind of thrown on our own to build 
more elaborate projects, learn the technologies that we need to learn for those more elaborate projects if there were new technologies that we had to incorporate. And I mean, like you were constantly learning something new every day, multiple times a day, having to really break out of your comfort zone and learn new things. So I got very comfortable being uncomfortable all of the time and having to push myself past what I thought my limit was. Whereas with self taught learning, I was in control of the intensity and I wasn't going that hard with anything. If I felt confused, if I felt stuck, instead of pushing and doing more and working harder towards it, I would step back or I would spend more time on it. And I think another big thing is like, I come from a very academic background. So the way I structured my learning for when I was self-taught was very much so aligned with <laughs> academia and my understanding of how things are structured there. I was more focused on getting a deep dive knowledge of any particular language or concept. So instead of um, just picking up a project and, and really starting to learn that, I would like spend tons of time reading through documentation, reading different books, watching how people use them you know and like whatever and then and then picking up a project to do it whereas in boot camp i might barely understand what the lecture was even on and would still have to be completing a project on that lecture and like what we learned during that lecture so I might not have conceptually understood everything, but I was learning by doing first in a lot of cases. So I definitely think that like, I would have never thought to do that on my own when I was self-taught learning, um, but in boot camp, I had no choice. So that intensity, man, it was way more. So the next thing, the next area I would say was really different is collaboration. We had mandatory collaboration on a daily basis in bootcamp. And my bootcamp was completely and totally online. I did not ever meet anyone from the program in person, but um, every day, you know, we might have big, you know, the whole co cohort in lecture and when we had um, to learn something new. But then when we, it was time for us to work on workshops, I would say nine times out of 10, we were working on that workshop with at least one other person and having to work through it in pair programming. <sighs> Being the introvert that I am, I hated it when we first started doing it, but I started to realize how much more I would learn when working in that type of collaborative way than when I was just working on my, on my own. And I think something that's cool is that Everyone's going to have a different style in the way they learn, in the way they code, in the way they work through problems. And you can pick up new things and better ways of doing things in your code and working through problems when you're working with different people than when you're working by yourself because you'll only ever you know, be able to learn at the level that you're at. Um, so I had the opportunity to work with people who knew more than me and got to kind of like just kind of work through and watch them as they work through things and then i had the opportunity in cases where i might have understood a little bit more than that person and i was able to learn more by being able to actually articulate and teach in a in a capacity of like okay here's what's going on here's my understanding of it and here's what we would need to do to finish this assignment sheesh we learned so much like i know for me i learned so much and i'm someone that is so against group projects um and like working with others i just i don't love it it's very exhausting to me but it was super beneficial so i don't regret it at all and i actually took a lot away from it the fourth section that I noticed the most difference in is in the career development aspect of gaining these skills. If you are trying to gain these skills for the purpose of 
landing a new job or like finding your way on your own career path I definitely think that there is some benefit to going to a boot camp because at least the one that I went to and I know there are a lot that have similar structures um, we had a whole team of people that were de just devoted to helping us prepare for the, the job hunt. So there are technical aspects of preparing and you know we had a lot of work in that area, but there was also like the softer stuff of like what, how should you, you know, speak in interviews? What should you say when someone asks you, tell me a little bit about yourself? And just how to navigate that process of setting up your LinkedIn, writing a really solid, solid resume, how to work through the interview process and networking to get better interviews or to land the kind of jobs that you want to. Um, that's not something that obviously, if you're self-taught, you might think of, of, of doing. I know like when I was in it, I my goal was to land a job as a software engineer. However, I never thought about how the job hunt process might be very different from any other job hunt process that I had went through. Like in my head, it was, I send in a resume, I prove that I know what I'm doing through, you know, a portfolio of some sort, and that's it. When I was self-taught learning, I'm not even sure I understood like what a technical interview was and how most of the time those are required. And, you know, I wouldn't have been prepared honestly but um the more you know you know i i at, over time understood those things and that's part of why i went to boot camp is because i knew i didn't know enough about how that worked to adequately prepare myself i guess so i would definitely say if you are on the self-taught route make sure you're not neglecting that very critical aspect of preparing for an actual job hunt. I'll definitely try to share some of those tips um, on here or on Instagram uh, to kind of transfer as much of that knowledge that I gained to you all, but there is a lot. It's overwhelmingly a lot uh, that you might need to be able to do uh, for the career hunt. So definitely a benefit of like having a boot camp that has like a devoted team to that but like if you don't have that there are other ways of you preparing but just knowing that you need to prepare is half of the battle okay so i know that it might seem like from the list that i gave that boot camp might be a better choice and a better decision that's not my intention here i truly think that both self-taught learning and boot camp learning have pros and cons equally. You know, self-taught learning is probably best for someone who needs more flexibility in the way they learn and how they learn and the amount of time that they devote to it. It might be better for someone who works better um, on their own. It might be better for someone who cannot afford for financial reasons or even time reasons uh, to devote that much time uh, of their life to a program like a boot camp. But I think that both have pros and cons and it really, really depends on you and where you are at in your journey. I personally don't regret either. Like I love that I started out in the self-taught realm because it taught me enough to be, to not have to be surprised when certain things came up in boot camp, I think like there were a lot of times where I was kind of thrown in the deep end and had to figure something out on my own in boot camp. And had I not had the experience of being a self taught learner, I don't think I would have handled it as well as I, I did. I was confident knowing that I have learned things on my own before, I can figure this out, you know, myself. So I think that, you know, if I would have jumped right into boot camp, I would have expected boot camp to be the end all be all. And that's just not true. If you're gonna go to boot camp, you need to expect to continue that learning and to continue that practice on your own 
once boot camp is over. And if you're not ready to do that, you shouldn't even start the process of boot camp just yet. So overall, I think that both are really important. And I think that if you do decide to go down the boot camp route, that you should still pursue situations where you are forcing yourself to learn on your own because it's going to teach you really valuable skills in problem solving and just workflow that you might not be able to get in a more structured environment like a boot camp. But that's pretty much it for me guys. I hope that this was valuable and helped to bring some light to some of the biggest differences between self-taught learning and boot camp learning. I hope that it helps to bring enough clarity for you to make a decision for yourself. And I hope that it motivates you to pursue learning in any way that works for you because what was right for me may not be right for you and vice versa. So keep an open mind while you are figuring it out. And whatever you do, just keep up the momentum in what you are learning however you can. All right, guys, I love you. I'm rooting for you. And I can't wait to see you in the next one.